Okay, so for the vegan vegetarian people dining with us this week, there's a few different elements in the, the kit, but it's all labelled. So for example, with the starter, you've got the, the vegetarian or the vegan or the pescatarian uh, exo sauce, but just follow exactly the same uh, steps we do in the other videos. When it comes to the main, instead of having a piece of fish, we've got a piece of tofu. Um, so what we've done with this piece of tofu is we've marinated it for, for three and a half days uh, in a mixture of soy sauce, sesame seed oil, uh, garlic and chilli. We've taken it out of the marinade and then we've coated it in fermented tomato skins, um, which then sticks uh, the panko and the sesame seeds to it. So the fermented tomato skins, it's almost like a byproduct of making a tomato shrub. So a tomato shrub is a sort of a 90 day ferment of tomatoes and soy sauce and vinegar. Um, and once, once they're completely broken down, you're left with the skins. And instead of throwing away those skins, we recycle them into other dishes. So I, I blitz them up to make a sort of really strong, umami, sweet, vinegary uh, tomato paste. And that's exactly, yeah, that's exactly what we're using in substitute for, for egg yolks as you would do for a normal panne. Um, so for people cooking the, pan, the, the tofu and the fish together, I recommend starting the tofu off first. It's probably going to take about six minutes in total, four minutes in the pan, two minutes in the oven, whereas the fish is probably going to take about four minutes in total, two in the pan, uh, one in the oven, and then at least one minute resting. All right, cool. So I'm going to preheat the oven for the tofu to 80 degrees. Um, but for the fish, I said in the video, we want it for 200 degrees. Uh, so if you're doing... If you're doing the tofu, maybe do the tofu first through the oven and then put it somewhere warm or in a warming drawer so you can crank up the oven for the last couple of minutes so the fish can go straight in. All right. Okay, so the oil's come to temperature. Uh, I'm just gonna turn it up a little bit. The reason for that is as soon as you put something in the pan, the oil temperature's gonna drop. And if that happens, it's gonna go soggy. It's not gonna start crisping up. So I've turned it up now. So when, I go, when it goes in, the temperature should, should stay maintained. Uh, just be careful, obviously, when you put in, when you work with hot oil, you don't want it splashing around. Good way to do that is always push, put things in the pan away from you. So if this is the pan, you put it down there, and the oil can only splash that way. If you have a tendency to go like that, you can hit yourself. So you want a nice sort of sizzle like this. And now the key with this is not to move it too much. The more you move the um, the the panko around, the more chance it has of falling off. So the, it's very tempting to sort of like, oh, is it burning? Lift it up. Um, just trust it a little bit. Make, wait at least a minute, I'd say. So wait about 45 seconds to a minute um, before checking it. So I've just turned it one side, uh, and this is the sort of color we're aiming for. A nice sort of golden brown, not too dark. Um, and yeah, we're, all we're gonna do is we're gonna keep rolling it around to get all colors uh, seared off. And we're gonna hit it on the tray and finish off in the oven. So just be careful when you're turning it. Okay, so I've just taken it out of the pan. Uh, I've just coloured all sides, including the top and the bottom. Just be very careful when you're colouring the top and the bottom. You want to hold it with your spatula on the bottom to stop it falling off and spraying oil everywhere. Uh, when you're happy with the colour, I'm just going to pop it in the oven for a couple more minutes just to heat the centre through. So it's probably in the pan there for about four minutes. It's going to go in the oven for about two. So it's about six minutes in total. All right. So this piece of tofu has just come out of the oven. It's been there for about two minutes. Um, how, how do we know this is hot? So obviously you can feel it. It feels warm. But is the inside ready to go? So the best way to test this, and the sort of the most old school technical way, is to use some form of spike. So in the restaurant industry, we use a, a broken whisk spike with a cork in the bottom. Obviously at home, you're probably not gonna have one of them. Um, well, you might have a thermometer, so you can use that, but if you don't have a thermometer, anything sort of spiky like this will work, or a fork, or even a small, a very sharp, thin knife to go in. So I'm gonna place this into the tofu for a few, few seconds, and then I'm gonna test it against a sensitive part of skin. So feel free to use the back of your hands, uh, even your arms to see if it's warm. Personally, I'm gonna use this part of my, uh, my lip here, as uh, you might find that chefs don't really have much sensation from the uh, elbow down. So just pop it in for a second, take it out, and then just gently press it on your skin. Now I can tell you that's absolutely raging. Um, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a little bit of fine sea salt, not too much, on either side. Now the salt obviously seasons the meat, uh, sorry, the uh, tofu, but it's gonna help crisp up that panko a little bit more. 
So now, ready to go. Um, we're going to plate this exactly like we plate the fish in the other video. So if you want to see how we plate that, feel free to jump on, jump to the plating of the fish in the other video. Really hope you enjoyed the tofu, guys. Um, it's something I've not done before, but I'm really excited to uh, get your feedback on it as I think it tastes absolutely amazing. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you.